The creators of 30 Rock have a new animated Netflix series called Mulligan. So let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Netflix. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. After an alien attack destroys the earth, what remains of humanity has the chance to start society over from scratch. So this comes from the creators of 30 Rock and Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt and has a really solid voice cast in it with Chrissy Teigen and Nat Faxon and Sam Richardson, Tina Fey. I was really impressed with the voice cast behind it and also the creators as well. This does feel like your average kind of adult animated series on Netflix in terms of the animation but I liked it. I thought that this series was a lot of fun. 10 episodes, your average length about 25 minutes long. What I liked about this series is really the voice cast and the characters within here. Nat Faxon plays Maddie Mulligan in the beginning of the series. He saves the world from being destroyed, kills this alien race, and now becomes president. And so we see this guy who's obviously not fit to be president take on this president role and try to rebuild Earth. And uh, we see a lot of other conflicting characters who have different opinions about him and try to rebuild the world in their vision. And so we see the last people on Earth coming together to try to rebuild, but also have fun along the way. And uh, these are really likable characters. We have, uh, I guess, some slow progression for these characters throughout. They're not really giving us like in-depth look at these characters. What you get is what you get, and it's enjoyable. But we see some of these relationships form along the way, and understanding who they are, their past lives, and relationships that we see form throughout the series. But the characters are all really likable, from Mulligan, who's now our president, to the vice president, to the first lady, to some scientists involved in here, and even one of the last remaining aliens. All these characters feel unique in their own way and uh, provide, I guess, different uh, visions for the world and what they want and their beliefs as well. And it's fun to see them rebuild and what they want to focus on. If it's uh, signing these executive orders or trying to find electricity to get cold beer to uh, looking at protecting animals. Whatever it is, it's fun to see how all these characters have these different opinions about things and come together to try to rebuild the world. But Throughout the whole series, we can't forget that this is an adult animated series. So there are some vulgar jokes along the way, but it isn't like some of the other adult animated series that we have seen before. Uh, it's like it's not cussing constantly and having sex jokes left and right. It's got a nice balance of it. Uh, I laughed quite often in here. I can remember a couple times that I just really started busting up laughing. Mulligan is really like your down-to-earth character and watching him be president and navigate all that, that provides a lot of the jokes. And then having his feelings for the first lady and our vice president as well, who has like this manipulative story throughout that's trying to uh, have his own vision of America. And then the alien who's survived, there's a lot of jokes in here that made me laugh. And I was really happy with the comedy in here because a lot of the adult animated series, they just feel the same in terms of the animation and the jokes and the characters and just kind of forgettable at best. Here, this feels like it's a step up from your average Netflix adult animated series. The comedy works, the characters are likable, and the voice cast is really solid. Some really recognizable names in here that really adds to, I guess, the star power of this series. And people can connect with the characters and also the creators behind it. You know, there'd be a lot of people who like 30 Rock or Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. And this is also produced by Tina Fey. So there's a lot of talent behind the scenes as well. And the animation, 
Uh, it's not mind blowing. It works for what it is. The world that's now been destroyed and having them rebuild, the character outlines and designs feel kind of average at best. But I overall really liked Mulligan. The characters, like I said, are likable. Nat Faxon as Mulligan, uh, really down to earth, really upbeat. The jokes just land perfectly. All the other voice casting from Chrissy Teigen and Sam Richardson, they all work well within here and provide a lot of a personal touch to their characters. So if you like 30 Rock, like I said, I haven't seen it though, so I can't really compare it. But if you like the Netflix adult animated series, I recommend checking this series out. You get to see the world being rebuilt, but also get a lot of comedy throughout, relationships forming along the way, some jokes about uh, Hollywood and movies, and a lot of fun references here and there to just kind of fill in the runtime. It's a blast. I enjoyed it. It's an easy watch to get through. You got uh, some continuing storylines, but that's more in regards to uh, being the president and relationships with the president, the first lady, and the vice president as well, and some of the scientists along the way. So you're not getting like a full-on continuing story. You just get uh, the characters get to grow throughout. But check out Mulligan. I think you'll like it. It's a lot of fun. If you like Netflix adult animated series, I think you'll find some things that you'll like about this series. So before I give you my score for Mulligan, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give Mulligan a B. Thank you guys for checking out my review for Mulligan, the new Netflix animated series. Have you guys seen it by chance? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.